Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Taurus. So, you are having this really strong, deeper connection to spirit, and, you know, really kind of having a really big shift in your values of realizing how much more value there is to connect with spirit than to be more focused in the material plane. You know, and you come, you learn from the material plane, so you really have to be in there. You know, it, it was funny because I've talked to some people recently about values, because we do all um, have different ways to describe values, but a lot of people think of it as money, and especially if you have Taurus, it's going to be money. It's something that they just go together, and, uh, you know, but it's it's probably shifting more in your life now of, not seeing that as such a high value anymore or needing to have money be a sign of value uh, more just like uh, doing something you love as being value helping others because this one has a really big note of helping others in it so you're very much there's some kind of shift that can be like putting you more into the path of your true soul's purpose where you are working with others more to assist others more and that is what is going to fill you up with this really big feel these really strong feelings of value so it feels like there's some kind of shift going on with your value system that is upgrading it to something that is more new world new age uh, because as a lot of us believe the whole money thing won't even be here in not too long in our future so we will have another system instead of like exchanging things of money because money has been a really you know um, dense low vibrating thing in our world and most people's problems are stemming from that you know that they don't have enough money they can't buy the things they need they don't feel valuable because they don't have money uh, you know without money you know, they're not happy, you know, there's a lot of things that people stay in that kind of half-human state when it comes to money, you know, we think, it's just, it's put a lot of limits on things, you know, and if you do go back into the history of when money was created, it's, you understand how it, that's what its purpose was, you know, it was a thing to kind of thing, keep things, keep people more disconnected from spirit in a way you know, to keep them on the material plane and to keep them always thinking they don't have enough and to keep them in debt thoughts and, you know, kind of taking away um, their true value, which is what they have inside. And I feel like there's some kind of shift going on where you are more, what's valuable in life is changing. And, you know, even I see this a lot. I see it, I see it in a really large group of younger people coming out in the world where their value systems are about their service to others like that is what is valuable to them in life and that is what makes them feel self-worth uh, that they're they're worth a lot because of the services they're doing for others and the volunteer work they're doing for others and everything that they're doing with the intention of helping others you know that's after 2012 I had said that you know, I felt like the healers and body workers and everybody in the artistic kind of world like that, that when they had their number one objective to help others, those people are going to be the busiest. But the ones who still were like, no, 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 I have to make this much for what I'm doing to be valued. I personally believe that's an old world way of thinking. And I know a lot of people are not with me on the same page with that at all. And I respect that. Uh because I used to feel that way and something just switched in me and I don't care I mean I feel like as long as I have enough to get by uh, I'm doing great you know but I didn't used to think that way I too thought I had to be paid this paper money to uh, represent that I'm being valued for the information I'm giving and a lot of people still have that wired in them as an okay thing, and that is okay. But I do know there's a new youthful um, 
energy that's coming out there in people where that's just secondary and that is how it's supposed to be in my opinion but if you don't agree with me that's totally cool I don't need you to I don't want you to agree with me if it doesn't resonate with you if it doesn't resonate with you it's not for you so but I do know there's an uprising of things like that just you know that's like the trade thing you know doing things for trade you know um, you know, if you imagine like the world, we were talking about this with some friends, and it would be like you come into a restaurant and like you're like, here I brought eggs, <laughs> I brought a chicken, you know, or you know when you're done, you're like, okay, I'll do the dishes, you know, this kind of trade thing where we're giving something, um, like a service to another. So you're very much service oriented right now, you know. So you are like waking to this like um, this compassion thing and you know, being there for others, and there is a revolutionary thing that is shifting with you in regards to your connections to spirit, and what you're going to be receiving when you are in these meditation and quiet times of surrendering to your plan in life, and not trying to control it. So you're going to be having wake-up calls, and I mean, yeah, you have Pluto in the ninth. You're going to be having the, the hugest, most transformative enlightened um, movements in your life going up with how your higher mind operates. You'll have so much more where you can just within a year look back and not even be able to believe that you were believing in something a year ago like that because things are so rapidly upgrading within your higher mind. So you are going up to this way higher level and you know it's a lot to do with the North Node and South Node, you know, and the South Node being in your sign and releasing. We're all upgrading our value systems, you know. We're all, as a, as a, as a race, upgrading our value systems and kind of trans, trying to transform things into this higher, almost eagle way, you know, of, you know, seeing things from a larger viewpoint, uh, you know, having more compassion with people and understanding and understanding where they're coming from and um, working with mystery more, you know, um, through meditation, through yoga, through retreat, just to kind of get new perspectives of what's important in life. You know, like, you know, Taurus is a lot of times needed physical things in their life to feel happy, to feel supported, to feel that they are valuable. And that's just shifting. That's still a part of you. You had to learn that, but you're just shifting into this other higher kind of vibration way that's you know really kind of beautiful and right now what you're you're probably having if it's not ideas of how to work with people um, um, connect with spirit in larger ways that are more healing based uh, but there's things that you're letting go of and kind of starting fresh with in regards to things of a spiritual nature so for sure ascension process kind of things or just wake up calls or just those aha moments that you couldn't get before that all of a sudden you're just like oh my gosh I get it now I see this now so you can expect a lot of those right now in your life there is also something too where um, something either you're upgrading in your thought process way of how your mind operates, what your mind believes is possible, how you use your words, how you express with others. Uh, there's something that's kind of recalibrating where you really, 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 it could even be too like all these amazing things are coming into your life left and right and you're recognizing that your thought processes are changing that that could be the reason everything is changing because you are more trusting and being in a trusting space and you know watching how your words come out so that they're empowering and you already are you know you're pretty good with that you're uh, you're really good with the words like that you have that slow thought process of you know not really wanting to be harsh and make a stink and hurt somebody and so you already have that kind of gift anyway but there's something with you that too there was always more of a habit to keep things inside in your mind so you might not say them outside but you would still say them inside so that could be something that's shifting inside of you where you are realizing 
you know, yes, I have always kept my mouth shut and tried to just keep it inside, but now I realize keeping it inside is just the same as saying it. It still an, an, has an energetic to it that can be felt by others and goes out into the universe. So there's some kind of purifying Buddha state kind of thing going on in your mind, and that's really beautiful. And um, Mercury is going to be going retrograde two days after this eclipse, and this is going to be even um, pulling you more back and having you scan how your words are shared with others. So you also at the same time are going to be able to speak more things that are your truth. So not holding back because you feel it's going to make a stink, but sharing it because you have to get it off your shoulders. And you have this habit of holding it in and keeping it in and then it eats you up inside. You know, then your opposite side of Scorpio is kind of eating you up inside alive with more negative things and ugh, because then there can be a resentment because you aren't saying what you need to say. So you have been in a really big process for a while now of, you know, having the courage to just say what you need to say. I mean, there's ways to do it so that it's not too much full of wound energy and wounding energy, but you're going to kind of strike the balance on that where you're realizing how to use your words to definitely state your needs. You know, that's something you need to be doing. Uh, you tend to usually consider too much of the other person's needs, and which keeps you from, you know, putting yourself first and stating yours. So this can be something like that where you're just kind of striking the balance of, I need to tell you what I'm thinking. And the thing, too, is that a lot of times if you hold it in too much and don't say, it either comes out in this insane like hurtful insanity thing because it was held back too much like with a rubber band and then it just pops out but uh, so um, learning not to do that and you know if you could this is this um, the mercury transit uh, going retrograde is very much going to be you know relationship based so you might be just learning more to say things of I need to express this stuff to you I've been holding this stuff back and it's making me sick and I feel like it's hurting our relationship so really kind of finding the you know see it's that I'm hearing like the most beautiful things but it's that you know having changing your value system to um, self-worth instead of money and material things so that you feel so much self-worth for yourself and when you have that, you're able to express what you need to say to someone else without holding back and thinking you're not allowed to say this or it'll hurt them or, you know, it's almost that could be that value system change in you where it's just feeling more like you're valuable and it doesn't matter if you have money and material things and all that stuff, you know, you're valuable. You need to just know that if you don't even have any of that, you're valuable if you love yourself. So there can be something with just kind of coming to this more like, you know, even through the mirrors of everybody else too, but just loving and valuing who you are. And then it'll just make it easier to speak your truth and be true about who you are. And this Mercury is really going to be working on showing you where you're holding back too much, where you're being too restrictive with your words, too limiting with your words. Uh, um, there's a the element of opening us to magic with this one, you know. So by seeing where you're limiting as Mercury goes retrograde and then when he goes forward again, you'll be able to plant some new seeds of how you are going to, you know, speak your truth and let your words flow and be who you are and love who you are, even if you don't have any material possessions around you, still to be like... I'm awesome, you know, or, you know, and not in an arrogant way, of course. Um, I, I could always say, say that you're awesome, but you don't have to raise a red flag around showing, proving that to everybody else, you know, but say it to yourself in the mirror, I'm worth, I'm worth a lot, or I'm worth this, I'm worth living a good life, I'm worth being happy, or I don't think I'm wording that right, but um, I'm valuable, I'm valuable no matter what I have that I can put my hands on, you know. So, uh, 
that is some stuff. Let me just look at the chart here real quick. Um, you know, there is the, there's this something that can be birthing in you too, is something service to others related that is wanting to do something more that's healing based, mass level based, um, magic based, uh, kind of making, kind of doing something that helps people to work through their own wound things in a more positive way and combining it with mystery and also doing it as, you know, because you're very much with the Chiron and Neptune in your 11th house, you're very much focused on a global sort of healing and bringing spiritual love into people's lives. <laughs> so this is already several years you're just focused more on that. How do I get how do I help more people? You're going to be very much geared like that. Like, how do I help people? How do I be of more service? How do I, you know, so there's a lot of energy with this uh, eclipse right now to really kind of bring opportunities and to uh, pave the way and, and kind of um, very much out of the blue, shocking, sudden opportunities coming from the magic of spirit so it's almost like the more you can just put what you want out there and surrender the more things are lined up perfectly to be like boom you know and I would definitely think around these days right now there's a really good opportunity for that because of where Venus is at and and yeah so uh, yes I think I'm gonna stop there um, uh, I hope that you can make our call on Saturday, uh, the clearing call with Kuan Yin. Uh, I talk about it in the main video. I did another video on it before on the first one that we had, and it's just such an amazing thing. You know me. I'm going to have to walk something before I'm going to talk it to you, and this is one that I can guarantee is something that uh, will absolutely change your life and in these really kind of subtle ways but they're so deeply in there and they so revolve around who you really are and what your truth really is and kind of peeling back all the things that are karma related or projected from others and all that stuff so uh, this would be a really good opportunity for you to come especially because you're so aligned with spirit right now and you're so aligned with creating a brand new kind of start a reboot kind of connection with spirit like a reboot of starting meditation doing yoga every day you know really kind of connecting in a certain way and the way things are lined up you're like it's an open gate so if you just kind of walk through it all these things can happen and then to further get you out in a bigger way um, so it's a magical time right now. So hopefully you can be on this call to kind of let go of some of that thing that is with the throat that you clench and you hold it back and you hold it inside. And, uh, yeah, so this could be something that just kind of frees you up and, you know, really gives you that confidence to speak your truth always because you have every right to. And this is just your journey, you know. So there's nothing wrong with this. But... So you have to know every spectrum. You have to know the holding in and not sharing things that you so need to say, you know, versus another sign that's just going to blab it, versus like Sagittarius that just can't hold back and just says everything. <laughs> Oops. Um, so it's your journey to walk that path. But it's kind of time for you to really start opening this and letting it out and sharing what you need to and speaking this truth of yours and you know, being freer and freer with being vulnerable and open and honest. And there's a lot of um, opportunity to have a lot more solid, powerful, full of depth relationships come into your life by being like this. Uh, because you will be greatly admired for it. People will like this in you. And you will too. It's just going to take a while because you're so conditioned to hold it in and to not speak it. But once you do, you know, it's all good. So, okay. Um, I will see you for the new moon 
Uh, hopefully I'll see you on the call on Saturday, but otherwise I will see you for the solar new moon eclipse on November 3rd, and we're going to be having another healing call then. So I'm hoping I get to get with you on some of these and we can do some work on you. Okay, have a beautiful day. Bye.